Hey Cancer, welcome to your July reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. I appreciate you and I hope that you're having a great day. We're going to see what messages he come through for you, Cancer, for the next little while, next couple of weeks throughout July. See what you need to look out for, what to be aware of, and anything else that Spirit is wanting to tell you. Thank you again for all of the love and the support. If this reading helps or resonates, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information is in the description box down below. And yeah, let's get into this reading, starting off with a couple oracle cards. For Cancer, we have Imrama, where are you be called to journey to? We also have Break the Chain, Ancestral Patterns, Healing, and Rewriting the Future. Oh my gosh, and Warrior Woman, have you answered your deepest calling? You are being called to go somewhere or to do something or to initiate something, Cancer. It's so important that you follow and trust that and you listen to that. That is what you're meant to be doing. You are being called in a certain direction or to take or initiate some sort of action or idea or to pursue something or someone. You need to listen to that. You need to be boss. Boss bitch mode. Boss <laughs> mode. <laughs> right? Boss mode, Cancer. It's time to rise up. All right, it's time to really level up, be brave, speak your truth even, right? We see that she's holding this blade. So it's even about you needing to speak and deliver your truth, even if the truth hurts. Oof, that's just what I heard. Even if it hurts, it's the truth, sorry. <laughs> um, and you're breaking the chain, right? You're breaking old patterns, old beliefs, limiting beliefs, limiting ways, restrictions, ways where you've been held back, where you've been imprisoned. You are done with the old. You are coming out of your cave. You are coming out of your shell and you're stepping into this powerful energy and it's very freeing it's very liberating it's very exciting it's powerful it's there is a little bit of part of you that's like wanting to kind of hide like look at like hiding behind the truth right she's, she's kind of hiding her face there's part of you that's almost like scared to like show this new you or to step into this new power or this new position but like be brave and do it anyways and remember 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 don't dim to fit in this is at the bottom of the deck transformation things are happening on the cellular level deep healing so don't dim to fit in don't shrink yourself or water yourself down stay true to your authentic self cancer and um you shouldn't have a problem all right Let's pull a couple animal cards to go along with this and then we'll get into the tarot. But yeah, so this the next couple of weeks, you are being called towards something, someone, some sort of action you need to initiate. And as you're doing that, you're breaking some sort of old pattern, old way, old beliefs, things that have been holding you back or holding you hostage. You're no longer held to anymore. You no longer are stuck to. You no longer are, you know you are breaking away from anything that's limiting you and preventing you from living your best life so let's get into this cancer let's see what oh my no that's way too many no not that many let's see <laughs> let's see what energy you're embodying over these next few weeks and what the vibes are looking like for you okay let's see what are the vibes looking like for cancer how are my cancers doing where are my cancerians at we have the lamb all right so you kind of keep them quiet i just heard silence of the lambs <laughs> okay hannibal um tell me about the where my cancerians are at what's going on for cancer so you're really trying to tune in you're like you're being called it's kind of like when you can hear your phone is like buzzing like someone's calling your phone but it's on silent and you can't find it and you're like i hear buzzing but i don't know where it is and you really have to like listen like you could be searching for something or trying to find something or on like the search you're searching for something or researching but yeah that's just with the lamb it's just making me think of like you know your phone's on silent and you're like can someone call my phone i can't find it and it's just like you can hear it buzzing somewhere but yet you don't know where it is it's not so obvious it's not as like clear or right in front of your face so it's going to take some time for you to kind of like listen observe kind of look around kind of like listen a little bit this is the energy of needing to really silence the mind okay but this is also an energy of like observe your surroundings observe your surroundings and listen to your inner calling all right that's where you're gonna hear what you're meant to do i i used to say this like a long time ago i've been on this channel for a couple years now okay uh it's kind of like you know your intuition is trying to call your attention but if you got all these thoughts and all these things going on in your mind, you can't really decipher, is that my intuition? Is this just my paranoia? Is just like my ego? Like, it's hard to decipher between the two. It's like you're in a busy, loud room. Someone calls you. 
you can't hear what that person's saying you gotta leave somewhere quiet you gotta exit the room go outside take that phone call right that's kind of like with you cancers you gotta take the call you're being called to do something or you're getting a call maybe you're literally getting a phone call or like you need to call somebody or like you know somebody call 911 <laughs> what if i think of that song wow throwback shawty fire burning on the dance floor yeah um you're on fire cancer you get ready to step into this powerful powerful position i cannot speak for the life of me we have the moth out here lots of green a lot of green you might be needing to work with the color green maybe got a cream a, gr a green crystal a cream a crystal that's green that's new lingo butterfly wow moth and the butterfly very two cards we got air and water oh sorry what the heck air and earth there is no water at the moment we got the gazelle we got the spider we got the bee there we have the water the, the swan okay so there might be a relationship here that's triggering you or there's some matters of the heart emotional stuff that you're working through maybe you're trying to stay distracted through your work or through just you know life responsibilities you got a lot of obligations a lot to attend to a lot to get done to work through and at times you might feel a little overwhelmed over these next few weeks right a little bit restless a little bit in your head um luckily we are about to head into leo season very soon so you should kind of start to feel the ease of the pressure right there's some a lot of there's a lot of intense ass trances going on in the stars so you're definitely feeling it we have pluto retrograde in capricorn right now capricorn is the opposite of cancers if you are like a late degree cancer if you got any like late like 20 to 29 degrees cancer you probably really feeling that heavy pluto pull and restriction and like death rebirth so wherever you have like late cancer degrees in your chart you're gonna be feeling that Ooh, so sending you lots of love cancer you will get through this but yeah like you're kind of like looking at people around you with the moth and you're just like damn like how come everybody else seems to have their shit together how come everybody else seems to have it easier more smoother more sailing like how come i'm the one with the struggles with the challenges with the obstacles with the pressure with the you know fill in the blank like you're kind of like this is a comparison card so this is a message saying like over the next few weeks watch out with self-comparison comparing your own journey to other people you know other people's expectations thinking the grass is greener on the other side the grass is greener where you water it right so make sure that you're putting your focus and energy towards the things that you want to grow right um sorry there's like distractions in the background but yeah moth the, the moths right they go through transformation just like the butterfly they both be going through the little caterpillar stage to the cocoon stage to the transform and spread your wings like both these freaking insects go through death and rebirth and so cancer the fact that you got both these cards coming out is like yeah you're going through some death rebirth you're going through some growing pains you're going through some discomfort it's a little uncomfortable or a lot you might be experiencing changes in your career you might be ex experiencing changes in a relationship or even the relationship you have within yourself right there's a lot of changes happening on a whole whole levels all freaking levels emotional mental spiritual physical material financial romantical like so many things are just like tits up <laughs> or like got you kind of nervous have you feel a little bit anxious of just like how is this all gonna play out how is this all gonna unfold how is this all going to how is this all gonna make sense right now because right now it's just like a scrambled mess right but just stay patient you on the right track you just gotta stay whatever you've been doing is exactly what you need to keep doing stay consistent stay focused don't quit don't give up stay persistent all right consistency is the key here and if you can be patient with yourself on this process and try not to put like a time limit some of you that's a message for someone it's like don't put like a time limit or be like i have to have this thing by this date otherwise i'm a failure they're being super self-critical over yourself or how long it's taking for someone to get to a final goal or final result or you know kind of need to be a little bit more flexible a little bit more fluid a little bit more go with the flow again we have no water out here it's mostly air and earth and just a little bit of fire but yeah a lot of earth and a lot of air so like we got to get back into your flowing grooving element cancer so also be mindful of burnout that's just another message coming through but you have a lot of like insects literally the moth butterfly spider and bee you got insects out here <laughs> just noticing that um 
Yeah, maybe you're needing to go go connect outside with some nature, um, go for a nice long walk. Maybe you're in need of some like camping or hiking or really just being out in nature. Um, yeah, I think that would be somewhere really quiet, somewhere with the lamb, right? This is about needing to be somewhere quiet. So even going somewhere where there's like no people or like no you know uh traffic or sirens or <laughs> cars like trying to find like if if you have the ability to um try and get somewhere where it's just like you and the silence you and the silence it's making me think of this one song it's like all i need is oh no that song is all i need is you me and the silence it's like no it's like all you need is you you cancer cancer and the silence like <laughs> okay let me get serious y'all no, why, why do I want to get serious? I don't want to get serious. We don't need that shit. Only if we got it. Only if it's necessary. I don't think we need to be that serious right now. <laughs> All right? Things are enough serious as they are in this crazy ass world. Like, goddamn. So let's get some tarot messages. Let's we'll see what else is going on. Anything else you should know, look out for, or be aware of. I'm just gonna, like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna move these cards up. Like, I need some freaking space. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on. What's going on for Cancer for the next couple of weeks in July? For Cancer, some... Oh my God, I scratched myself. <laughs> cancer, some... There you are. Mother Cancer, Queen of Cups. Loving, sweet, soft, gentle, compassionate, healing. This is you working your magic. This is you connecting to the feminine energy connecting to your mother your sister your soul sisters your soul family this is you really stepping into more of like a creative loving gentle receptive energy and this is also you really tuning in and tapping into that intuition of yours all right working your magic but yeah there's something that you're, you're you feel a lot of care for something that you care deeply about let's see what's what's going on for cancer over these next few weeks what am i can't say need to know look out for or be aware of <clears throat> Show me clearly what's going on for cancer we have the four of pentacles you're attending to your piece you just chilling you're just like if you're not gonna add a value or peace to literally she's just done this four of pentacles this is what i envision you cancer you need to like go out somewhere in nature be around water be around a river or like a stream or even if you can get somewhere near a waterfall if you're lucky oh my god I'm jealous <laughs> just kidding enjoy and fucking joy but yeah if you can get somewhere near like a rock and just like chill and just relax and kind of just surrender to where things are the ebb and flow you can just kind of like chill and not do so much you don't need to do so much right now there's not a whole lot you need to do this is kind of the vibe of just sit chill wait appreciate <sighs> a moment of silence can my cancerians please get a moment of silence because things have been just way too damn busy literally nine of swords at the bottom lots of inner voice lots of stuff going on internally lots of thinking lots of planning lots of trying to find solutions lots of fires trying to put out like you know it's been a lot lots of things that have been haunting you keeping you up at night stressing you out things you've been worried about nervous like you just need some goddamn peace and silence and look at underneath the nine of swords we have the wheel of fortune let's see wheel of fortune the king of swords so you, i see you making some changes here getting your groove standing your ground it's kind of like that warrior woman having to kind of toughen up your skin a little bit or um cut some things out of your life that don't serve you that have been keeping you stuck that have been holding you back okay let's let's get some more for cancer what else is going on for cancer over these next couple of weeks what can my cancerians expect or what do they need to know look out for for cancer what is going on for cancer please spirit tell me what do my cancerians need to know we got the empress beautiful taurus libra and venus energy we have venus retrograde on the 22nd so definitely stuff around relationships relationships with people relationships with yourself relationships with money things like that definitely being brought up here but again like look at this they're just both these two cards just sitting enjoying peaceful nothing too chaotic they're in this this um they're waiting they're kind of like they're both in this waiting game right and you've seen the empress she's pregnant most most empress cards she's pregnant right so there is something that's in the works there is something that's growing there is something that's developing or getting stronger over time so it's it's good right keep nurturing yourself keep investing in this path 
keep putting one foot in front of the other in front of the other you're making moves cancer you really are something is getting closer to being birthed into your life physical right into your physical reality you're getting very close to achieving or manifesting or attaining something or reaching some sort of goal or having something that you've been wishing or wanting in your life and there's not a whole lot you need to do right now but just kind of sit back sit tight and just observe and wait and let the stars fall into place right we have the star at the bottom of the deck aquarius energy this is screaming wish fulfillment let's take a look underneath that seven of wands okay so it might almost look this wish might almost look a bit disguised at first i gotta be real underneath that page of cups um there might be some sort of conversation page of cups page of pentacles you might have some sort of conversation or um there might be something that kind of like throws you off balance or throws you off guard, but it's connected to some sort of wish fulfillment or something that you've been waiting on or something that you've been anticipating. Let's see, what, what else can my cancer expect over these next few weeks? Show me clearly what's going on for cancer over the next couple of weeks in July, the last little bit of July. What do my cancers need to know, look out for, or be aware of? Oh, well, three of swords in the reverse just flipped itself out. So I see you healing and I see you getting your strength back after a situation that was really painful, really, 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 really difficult. Probably something that you were feeling um, hopeless about or going back to, if I can pick this up, going back to the moth. This is kind of like a hopeless, pessimistic, kind of glass half empty vibe, right? I see your your beliefs, your mindset and your opinion or feelings about a situation or a person or yourself or your journey, wherever you're at, whatever this is. I see you really healing from that or I see you gaining back your strength. I see you healing and like there's this repairing kind of vibe here. Something here is being repaired or something here is being fixed or improved. Let's get some more wait before we get some more judgments at the bottom so there's there's divine orchestration out here some of you do have a important decision to make or you're at this crossroad and when you make this decision it cements or completely like solidifies this path that you're on or this next step or this next journey let's take a peek five oh nope seven of swords underneath that six of swords and the nine of wands so you got to get clear with what you're taking with yourself moving forwards what you're leaving behind um, kind of like that king of swords slash warrior woman energy okay let's get some more for cancer what can my cancerians expect over these next couple of weeks what can my cancers expect show me clearly messages insight wisdom guidance for cancer over these next few weeks what can my cancerians oh okay queen of swords in the reverse here that fell on top of the moth so there's like a little bit of bitterness you feel a little bitter by something let's see let's get some more two of cups bitter about a relationship or there's a relationship here that you're dealing with could be going back to that um swan energy <laughs> right and i said that earlier there could be like a relationship that's kind of triggering you or bringing up um some life cycle stuff some karmatic karmatic um cycles as well as patterns right breaking the chain so there could be a specific person in your life could be a libra or an air sign aries well, not aries <laughs> maybe it's an aries for somebody <laughs> um gemini libra aquarius it could be an air sign or someone that you're dealing with here that you might not be on the best of terms with could be someone of um could be a feminine energy could be a mother a sister or someone who is embodying more of a feminine energy but there is like this uh bitterness or disconnect in some sort of connection or someone is um Someone isn't being very emotionally available here. That fell on top of the moth, right? So feeling just unable to open up, feeling hopeless about the way a connection is going. Let's, let's see. Is there anything else that for my Cancerians that we need to know or look out for or be aware of? And then maybe we'll do a little bit of clarifying. Anything else my Cancerians need to know or look out for over the next few weeks? We have the king of cups okay so see we got a pair out here we do have a pair so there is some sort of a connection here that's playing an important role or is significant in the next couple of weeks double reverse i can pick it up anything else for cancer that cancer should know look out for or be aware of the fool i see a new start king of wands with the ace of cups and the moon and also the tower i see that there's a new start so right now, Cancer, it seems like you're not too pleased. You're kind of sitting on a situation with another person. You're in the process of also just working on healing on yourself. 
investing in yourself regardless of how things play out with you and whoever you're dealing with you know that you got to get your shit together you know that you got to work on healing you know that you got to work on just getting your strength back getting your mojo back and investing in yourself and knowing your freaking worth because you're a goddamn queen king you're showing up here as the empress okay full freaking package and so at the moment queen of swords in the reverse to the two of cups there's definitely someone you're connecting with that you are feeling either disconnected to or you're not too happy about queen of swords in the reverse you might be feeling angry or pissed off or you know just like ugh, like i just get that vibe of ugh, like ew like ick like <laughs> you're just you've had enough you don't want to deal with this shit and the reason why is because whoever you're dealing with which they are a pair king to the queen of cups they are a pair there are some um, toxic cycles that you guys keep running into devil reverse now i see that it's something that can be worked through um but there is also when when if you were to start anything new slash if anything grows out of this situation which i see that is very likely i definitely see it's likely here but there is also the possibility of history repeating itself or if you don't deal with this devil if this devil like energy isn't cleaned up and worked through slash this chain that needs to be broken if this chain doesn't get broken you guys are just going to keep running into the same cycle over and 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 over again so it requires consistent effort on both sides right um both people are going to have to make some sort of change or sacrifice or compromise here um in order for things to improve or be better off okay now at the bottom of that we have the king of wands this is aries leo sag we also have the ace of cups so look at how this king of wands he's looking over at this ace of cups he's following his heart so there's this masculine could be this king of cups pisces um scorpio or also maybe another cancerian also got capricorn energy aries and aquarius pisces i already said pisces but we got pisces and scorpio coming out and more pisces lots of pisces energy okay but there is someone here who is following their heart or they're letting their heart lead them so this might be you cancer you might need to follow and listen to your heart or there's someone here who's listening to their heart and it's leading them to you okay but this is um this is definitely like heart is in the driver's seat someone's heart's in the driver's seat not an idea not a clue not a single clue of what to expect here with the moon but following and trusting their intuition so and then underneath that we have the tower and we also have the hangman something here about this again something about this situation needs to change there are some toxicities here that need to be worked on or improved with this tower in this deck it's not the entire tower that's crumbling down it's just the top so it is saying that there's room for repairs there's room for things to improve and it, if you want to work on this slash if you want to fix this it can be done so let me just do just a tad bit of clarify let's, let's let's look into this new start okay i don't think we need to bother looking into the devil reverse or the king of cups or any of the other stuff let's just take a look into this new start this new beginning what you can expect coming out of this what you should be aware of okay if you were to start anything new in this situation right going to where are you being called to journey to cancer is it this is it this situation is it something else is it both is it like a handful of things listen to whatever you're being called to do that's what you need to move towards okay answer the call follow the instincts follow your intuition and don't even doubt yourself um <clears throat> right tell me about the fool for cancer what is this new start what is this new beginning or leap of faith what is this new vibe for cancer tell about the fool oh my gosh what's going on tell about the fool for cancer over these next couple of weeks we have the world reverse so i see that so some of you you got an opportunity to close out that cycle breaking the chain the unfinished business right this is about you guys doing things differently changing a pattern rewriting your future this is an opportunity for closure this is an opportunity to you know rewrite what was written that you don't like you basically get to change the ending if you didn't like the ending guess what it's not the ending part two it's a sequel like here you go now you got a whole new journey to start to write to create like let's see what else what else we got about this world be mindful though i will say again i will stress this again be mindful of old patterns repeating itself right there is that tendency with the world reverse sometimes it talks about you know going back to square one you got to redo the whole grade again you got to go through it all again so just be mindful there might just be mindful of that just be mindful of that all right time of the fool for cancer what does cancer need to know about this new start we have the eight of wands and look 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 death in the reverse 
see but look this death in reverse is a bit of a different take in this deck eight of wands death in the reverse look at this baby something to see is that empress energy literally be mindful of pregnancies don't know who needs to hear that but that's for somebody anyways scorpio energy we had a lot of scorpio in this reading too so maybe you got some scorpio placements or dealing with a scorpio but death reverse of the eight of wands this is news coming in that brings change this could be communication this could be some sort of action you're initiating this is that call the calling that you're that you're listening to that you're pursuing slash following you're answering the call and this is what's creating the change so there will be some sort of call that you're answering over these next few weeks and that is going to create pivotal change in your life cancer it's going to bring in some sort of new start some sort of new beginning and it's also going to allow you to close out old cycles or unfinished business and basically rewrite your life or you know get yourself back on track or bring a, a, a better ending to a situation slash new beginning right with the world to the fool and a new beginning so there is like that you're in this transitional stage of your life and um there's definitely something that's growing here there's definitely something that has um is going to become something much much bigger right it's a baby think about a baby it's a freaking life a whole ass human who will become a grown person like you and i so this shows that there's potential for something to be long lasting but again if a baby a baby can't fend for itself a baby can't take care of itself a baby can't feed itself it's going to require consistent effort in order for this to grow and thrive and survive it's going to require a lot of effort so that's just something to be mindful of this is not something that's just going to be like wham bam done and then you forget about it and it lives on its own it's like no this is going to require like your consistent effort and focus and your attention so if you can handle that then great and you should have no problem with that but uh yeah so i'm gonna leave your reading here cancer i hope that this was helpful and insightful for oh by the way we have the lovers at the bottom so this could also be indicating of some sort of um lovers on three pentacles yeah working on a partnership okay cancer we gotta wrap your reading up i hope this was helpful and insightful let me know if it was leave a like comment subscribe if you'd like to book a private reading with me the info's in the description box down below and i'm gonna let you guys go thank you for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one bye